Well, good morning, guys. It is 12.32 in the morning. Um, spent my past half hour this morning researching air filters for the car. If you saw the end of yesterday's video, I was talking about how I pulled the filters out, and they're about two years old with probably 15 to 25,000 miles on them. Um, so I'm considering replacing them. So I've done research between four brands. K&N, uh, which are widely known as being very good filters, as well as AFE, BMC, and then the OEM BMW filters. Um, so now, concluding my research, I'm installing brand new OEM BMW filters. Yeah, I know. 12.30 in the morning, I'm out here putting air filters in the car. Why not? Here's why. The OEM filters, that's what the car was designed for. That's what it was built for. That's what the engineers found to be best in the car. The other companies came along and wanted to make a quick buck. So they actually used oil gauzed uh, filters, which are supposedly better for intake, and they are. However, they're not better for filtration. That allows crap into the engine, and that's not good. These filters that are in here now, there's two, one here and one there. They're performance AFE filters. Um, they're about the same price as the OEM BMW ones, which are on my sunroof there. Uh, but they've got an oil cover on them, which is better for, filtra which is better for um, airflow, but not filtration. So they're allowing crap in there that shouldn't be in there. And they also screw up mass airflow sensors, which are very expensive. And there's two of them, one there and one there. So I'm going to take these clips off and I'll show you the filter difference. So this is the OEM BMW one and it looks dirty like in the corner. That's the shadow of this thing being hit by the lights. Uh, they're brand new, never used clean OEM filters for this car. These are the, I think they're AFE. There really isn't much labeling on here. Nope, K&N. So these are K&N filters right there. Um, notice how much thinner they are. So I don't know about that. You can smell there's oil in them. But they let more light through. We can totally see the light through this. And this one being as thick as it is, we don't really see any light through. So I'm going to try these. If I notice a difference, a negative difference in mileage or performance, then I may replace those. I'd probably go AFE over K&N just because I do not want to screw up those mass airflow sensors. This is where it goes. I know it's dark. I apologize for that. It's one here. I'm just going to take a damp towel in there. It's actually really not even dirty, but that's what it said online, so we'll follow procedure. Okay, about 10 minutes. Both filters have been replaced. We'll have to see how they perform tomorrow morning. Uh, you can see the hose for that is fed there, the hose for that one. And all that air comes from down here. And for freak's sake, check this out. When you get air coming in here, it pushes these little flaps open. That's ridiculous engineering. Wow. Saturday. We are at Olive Garden now for lunch. Been working all morning. And it is colder as frig out here. Rug shopping. It's a blast. We're over at Macy's. This is very nice. Ah, it's too many pillows. <laughs> She's talking to somebody over there about rugs for like five minutes. Whatever. Bed, bath, and beyond. Bed, bath, and beyond. Uh, well, okay. God, Jack, what up? Not much, Yacht Ryan. Club guys here. I just Yacht. made uh, a deal uh, with Kevin. That if and, he, and Jack. And Jack. That if he, Jack, Jack, because my voice goes there. But uh, I just bet the Yacht Master 2 <laughs> that they can't get 75,000 Tetris points. And as you can see, Kevin has 589 and he's struggling to pick up the concept of the game. I'll update you shortly and let you know how this kid does. Uh, yeah. Wait, whoa, me? Yeah, oh, okay. man, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah you guys know, all right? You guys all right? Yeah, Miss yeah. Apple. What do you have to say for yourself? When they get paid, you know. Oh, my God. Oh, piece of crap. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, Ken gave up. He needs to practice. Yeah, One more. Uh, get in there. Doing them here. We got. Um, near 2,000. Oh, almost 2,000. I guess that's not as bad as this son of a bitch. Oh. Alright, so Jack got to uh, just about 10 grand, right? 12. 12? 12,000 oh, 12, yeah. points. That's, that's pretty good for your first time, your first big time with 
Tetris, right? First time I ever actually played a game. Uh, yeah, Not first. Game, but finished. Yeah, first time you finished a game, and you were running out of fumes for those last two, yeah. two, three thousand points. But hey, uh, you did good. Play. Better than this. <laughs> well, when you can play an instrument, you let me know, right? Oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. All right, guys. Uh, Twelve twenty. I'm gonna try to wrap this up here. I guess Ken is off playing his instrument. Anyways, I'm talking to him and finishing some editing and talking to Bobby, and I'm gonna watch some videos tonight. Um, I think I only have four in the Watch Later playlist, which I, I thought I had open, but I guess not. So that's it tomorrow's Sunday. I'm gonna sleep in, and I don't have a whole lot planned. So I'll talk to you guys tomorrow's Sunday, day 441 on February 26th. Good night.